Budget CEO Sheung Onigbide has launched a campaign to crown fund 10 billion naira for Peter Obi's presidential ambition. In a tweet, the tech guru noted that a GoFundMe account would serve the purpose of funding the presidential hopeful, whom many Nigerian youth deemed competent to lead the nation out of its current economic woes. This came a day after London-based publication Financial Times pegged the cost of electing a president in Nigeria at $2 billion, about $1 trillion. Naira. My goodness. Mr. Onigmide explained that the crowd funding would level the financial playing ground for Mr. Obi, who is likely to contend with money backs such as Bola Tinubu and Oji Uzokalu. A $10 billion naira go fund me for Peter Obi will be great starter for those who want crowdsource Nigeria's next leader. This will change the dynamics with the space hijacked by money bags, tweeted the budget boss. Mr. Onigbide's tweets had gained over a thousand retweets as many youths threw their weight behind Mr. Obi. While some users have already begun to suggest how the presidential OFU can reach the grassroots for his campaign, others are interested in knowing his plan to tackle rising inflation and the nation's economic slump. At the time of filing this report, Mr. Onigbide had yet to respond to People's Gazette inquiries to know if donations for the cause have started pouring in. Meanwhile, Mr. Obi on Tuesday expressed his readiness to contest the 2023 presidential election on the condition that PDP zones its ticket to the south, saying, yes, I will step into the field to contest the opportunity to serve this great country as president if my party, the ash, the at official PDP Nigeria, zones the ticket to the south. But if it is thrown open, Nigerians will also hear from me. Peter Obi said, as he tweeted, Mr. Obi was a vice presidential candidate to Atiku Abubakar in 2019. <laughs> okay, oh. this is going to change the whole thing. Because those would believe that, yes, they will tell you structure, structure, structure. What is the meaning of the structure? Ability to be able to reach people at the grassroots. And these guys have already made enough money. They don't have nothing in their brain. All those ones that are parading themselves. But with this Mr. Obi, but believe you me, you will see that the government will want to go against it because they know that Nigeria, Nigerians will be able to, when Nigerians have that knowledge, that awareness that we can contribute, even if it's one naira, two naira, five naira, hundred naira, you see people begin to pour in money, one naira, two naira, as far as one million, as far as ten million, even if everybody wants to contribute five, five naira, it will go a long way. Because these people, they want to continue with all this nonsense that Ebuari has, 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 you know, has started. They want to continue with it. Can we, con you know, I can remember when Dino Milai said, anybody that survived after, after this uh, Buari's tenor should be given certificate of survivor. You know, it's, it was just on a lighter note. You know, you could think that it's a joke, but it's not a joke. Do you know those who have lost their lives? Do you know the victims, the loved families who are mourning? They are going to be mourning forever. And the government's does not seem to understand or does not seem to care. You can imagine, they are telling us that Buhari can no longer travel on road, but Nigerians are the ones that can travel on road so that all of this nonsense will continue to happen to them. It's just unfortunate that this man came to deceive us. We still have good people, but unfortunately, the bad ones are the ones parading themselves. Those who are forgetting and, and misleading the country, they have not even gotten into the power. If they're going into power, mistakes here and there, they have to come, and, come back and be telling us, oh, we made a mistake. 50 million recruiting 50 million so yes oh the pvc is is expired something that is called permanent voters card that's not they don't even know the economy they don't even know the country so with this one that people are now pushing out to be able to support the man you see that they will be fidgeting they will be looking for ways to make to make this go for me a taboo you see Nigerian government, you see you see, you, 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 at least, if not for anything, you would know their antecedent because they don't want good thing. They do not want good thing. It's going to be a welcome development. Anyone who loves good, both Aousa Yoruba and Igbo, will really support Pitaobi without remorse, people of good conscience. 
This is commendable and worthy of note. I support Peter Obi. A good peg in the square hole. Peter Obi is a right candidate needed for the job. Forget all this uh, tribalism and all of that. We are talking about somebody who can do it. But those who are on the side of a uh, retrogression, on the side of failure and on that development, they will tell you, oh, it is our turn. It is not this one's turn. We are not talking of turn. Even I've said it, all this uh, Igbo presidency, Igbo, whatever, whatever. With the people who are parading themselves now, it's still gonna it's, it's even going to get worse because it's just the way they are coming out is just to fulfill all righteousness. They don't have any single single solutions to the problem of this country. Their own is just to okay, we have to be given. What do they know? They know nothing. Those who cannot even handle little, little, little things. We are talking about those who have been who have been tried. And they are they are trusted. All those other ones, they have been tried, and you can say whether they are trusted or not. Well, Nigerians are really interested in this man. Let him come. Everybody is saying it. Let him come so there can be peace and tranquility about marginalization of selection of leadership team in the nation. It is not all about where he's coming from. That is not even the issue. We are talking of competence. We are talking of competence. He will be a good candidate if he emerged as a PDP flag bearer. But those who think that they hold PDP now they are parading themselves. See, you can imagine as he could tell you Nigerians that it is still the not the it's still the turn of the north to feed. They have not been able to finish their turn. You can imagine that he wants to do one term. Who are they deceiving? They want to do one term. Like seriously. Even if my vote will be wasted, I will still give it to Peter Obi. It is high time we cast our vote to a person with brain and results. Exactly. I will support this initiative fully. It is time. The citizens rally around Peter Obi for the sake of Nigeria. Yeah, for the sake of Nigeria. And our children and generation years unborn. Time to salvage this country. It is worth the effort. We can make it work. This is a good step in the right direction. Exactly. It takes structures to win election and not just money, especially presidential election in Nigeria. Peter Obi doesn't have the political structure to win the presidential election what is the structure those structure that they are giving they are, they are being bribing those who their house is on fire they don't even care they'll go outside to go and do good <laughs> and we spend with is that what we are talking about those who have stolen who can come out we are talking now who can come out and say i want to use my money to support all these people not even expecting anything from them mm, you can imagine Say Peter B. Somebody saying that Peter B. doesn't have that structure to win the presidential election, even if he gets all the money in Nigeria. The presidency is either APC or PDP. <laughs> okay, okay, now nah. another alien now nah. you want like article. Use your sense now. Nah. Hmm. Nonsense is nonsense. So is Peter B. not in PDP? Or did Peter B. say he was running as an independent candidate? Don't. Uh, is party the PDP have structures in every part of this country? I wonder if you reason before you wrote this your structure trash. What structure did Obasanjo have when he was elected president? Have you forgotten that it is for justice, peace, and equity that North and South unanimously agreed for the Yorubas to produce the next president? Then today, the same justice. Peace and equity is on our door again. So the North and South have no choice but to unanimously support Eagles for the top job and Peter B caught the perfect picture. So if Nigerians found him worthy and rise in unison, so a call of justice for peace for Nigeria, which other structure are you talking about? And that's it.